It's been a whole month since we started building our kitchen, but even with the weather not on our side these past few weeks, we've still been hard at work renovating the cottage. Until we found unexpected structural issues forcing us to completely rebuild this part of the cottage. Hey, welcome back to the cottage. Wow, I haven't said that in a minute. When I last left you, we were building our kitchen. It was episode one. It's still there. It's still great. I'm still so proud, but we have been doing tons of work gearing up for a very important week tomorrow. Rain has finally stopped. <laughs> It's very hot, but the rain has finally stopped. It is finally the week that subcontractors start. So we're talking adding more foundation for the kitchen underneath and leveling the house and building the foundation in the back and framing all of the structural things in the house for the new openings and stuff. You guys, I cannot express to you how excited I am. Felt like this day has not come soon enough because of all of the rain that we've been getting, but we have been working. So let me show you what we've been doing. We have to remove this window here and also these two windows here. So these two are gonna actually be right where you're standing and those are gonna be the two windows from our dining room, which is gonna let in a lot more light because you can see it's kind of still a little dark right here. It's not near as much sunlight that comes in in the living room. Ready, baby? Let's go. Okay, I'll turn the fan back on for you. <laughs> this is why this window was not even attached anymore. See how this cotton rope that they had, I mean, obviously originally, that they used to string the weights on the paned windows? It's disintegrating. We want to replace it all throughout the house so that it lasts longer. So we're actually going to be replacing it with metal. We're going to lock the whole window right there. because it was really, really important. And with everything in this house, it's really important for us to keep it intact, undamaged, so that we can reuse it. So these two windows are gonna go in the front of the house. This part of the window is gonna be closed up. This is gonna be just a wall. And then this space, I planned it accordingly. It's actually gonna be our back door. Um, so we're gonna push out everything to the ground on that. for us to the fence so we have to we have to design this maybe we'll do some sketches when I get home but essentially this is the back door and there's gonna be a transom window over the top of it so that all of the doors and all of the windows are the same height throughout the whole house make it look more purposeful and designed instead of just like this door is this high and this window is that high and this door is this high this just a clean line all of them the same. Since we're reusing all of the original doors and windows into the house, all of them are different. So in order to remedy that, I'm gonna make different sized transom windows to go above them um, so that they're just all really, really level. Originally, this was my back door, the back door that they had. It's quite small. It's only 32 inches wide. 
and I just feel like for a back door that's kind of small the front door is 36 inches wide so I'm gonna look at my plans for the doors and see if there's another door that I could swap with something. I looked at my plans and I actually have one here that might work. So we gotta, it's, of course it's behind everything. But I think it's 34 inches wide. So it was originally for the guest cottage back door, but I could switch them. I'm thinking that's what I need. Mm -hmm. 34 by 80 and a half. Now we gotta see if we have a jam already because I saved all of the jams for from the house originally. Sale has salvaged everything. Everything is going back into the house in some way. So since the door is 34 inches, I guess that's what we're looking for here. for a second contractor looked at it we were seeing if there was any way to salvage anything that was existing it has not been updated in years it needs everything it's rotted all along the bottom there are no footings for the actual porch itself so it's sinking <laughs> the concrete steps are sinking we knew it was in bad shape so in order to build a new porch we've got to get it down a lot of it is rotted so we're not going to be able to salvage or reuse it but the columns at the bottom are rotted but not the whole thing once we cut the rotted part out of the columns they'll be too short to reuse on the porch we also need to find more columns for the back porch as well so we're just going to get all new ones but look very similar and are our right size for the porch um, but we can reuse the existing columns cut down for something cool on the island or inside somehow so we're gonna salvage everything that we can that isn't rotten and get this thing down <laughs> for the time being I actually put these like concrete blocks leading up to the door just because we were getting so much rain that I didn't want it to be like super muddy so we would still be able to get into the house but it is ready now for them to rebuild it pour concrete footings at an actual house pad so it's not sinking and it doesn't rot we're also going to be picking so many materials I'm so excited for this whole area to come to life 
also have some design ideas, some flooring that we need to pick. But overall, I really want the porch to be original to the house and what it really looked like. So we're just gonna be adding those things back into the design. Here is everything that we saved. So I have all of the columns there perfect condition we can reuse for a special project or something i'm thinking the island i'm not sure yet but we have them and to tell you the truth they're all different you can see the difference in the shapes oh i didn't even know that when they were on the house um i also saved all of these railings and the more oval spindles. Most of them are not in good shape. You never know what kind of projects will come up. I don't love the oval shape. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the design details that I have and been collecting the samples for the new porch. So for the porch floor, I wanted to explore not going the wood route because over time you've got to paint that. We, you obviously can experience rot, mold, termites, things like that, and all of the things that we're experiencing right now, which is why we're having to rebuild. So I ordered some samples of composite flooring, and it's basically made of almost entirely recycled materials as well. It's all about getting the right look and the right coloring that I really wanna go with. I still love, this was one of my original inspiration pictures. I love the floor, love the floor. And I think it's gonna look really good with the golden kind of stain that's on the inside of the house on all the wainscoting because I wanna keep that. I got a lot of samples. Two different companies, one is Trex and one is TimberTech. I ordered some different colors and also different levels of price. So like the lower price point to the higher price point just to see the quality difference. Some of them were no right off the bat. Like this one looked really purple. This one was from Trex. This is Medaria. That's a no. This one was really beautiful. This one's from Trex too. This is their higher end line. This is spiced rum, which was definitely a contender. Timber Tech, this is their mocha color. It was pretty too, it was like more golden. The major difference between Trex and Timber Tech is Trex has more texture. That makes, you can see, this is the, this is the Trex one. You can see the texture in it a lot more, which kind of lends more cabiny, which I don't know if I like that much rough texture. So one that I absolutely love out of these samples was from Temper Tech. It's their mahogany in the vintage collection. It's perfect. Look at this. <laughs> it's perfect. I love this. Here are the colors that I'm playing around with to go for the house. This is the exterior color that we love, which is white dove with black windows. And I want the trim to be darker, not too much, but definitely have some dimension to it. So I'm playing around with Manchester tan, all Benjamin Moore. That's a house, I love that. I found the traditional wood posts that are almost identical to ours that will also match, not like, the other ones, they probably had to replace the, the posts over time, um, so they just used whatever they could get their hands on, but they're all different. So we'll have all matching posts. When it came to the spindles, our spindles were oval. They were like white, they were like fatter on the front. They were oval shaped and there weren't very many. They looked really sparse on the porch. I absolutely hate them. I hate the oval. I feel like the other half is missing. It's just not, I can't do it. I want a traditional two inch spindle. They also come in the three inch, but it's not a full inch larger, but the two inch is half the price. I believe when these are gonna be around $10 a piece. And so I had them make me one so that we can see what it looked like, but this is the right size that we need and everything. And we'll put more of them per section. So, I mean, the porch is coming together. This, can you see it? Can you see it happening? I think so. There is one Final project, very small project that we need to do before they start tomorrow. And that is taking up this plywood that's right now kind of in the entry to the kitchen um, because we're gonna take it up anyways and it's gonna give them better access to build the additional structure that we need for the kitchen and put the house pads, things like that. It'll just make it easier, make their jobs easier. I'm all for helping, you know. So, should be super simple. I already got one piece up. You guys, I'm so excited for tomorrow. Feeling in my bones. I could feel it in my face. Hands in the sky. I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn. And I hope I've seen it. Put this right here. 
here. Want you to Help keep the bar out. Oh my god. I'm dying. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Today is the day. <laughs> Someone besides me and my family actually work on this house. I'm so excited. No, it is not Monday. It is now Wednesday. We were a little delayed for weather that they experienced on another job, which delayed that. The wet, the rain. It's just so brutal. Um, but today is the day. So I'm here at the house. It's very early. I don't think that they're gonna be here for another hour or so. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I'm very anxious. I wanted to get everything ready. This is step one in building the addition. We cannot build the addition, we cannot pour the slab until this is done. Also, when they're all done with this area and they've leveled the house today, we're gonna come back and patch this with the flooring that I salvaged from Fox Run and also that little hole that we made when we demoed down one of the chimneys and just other places throughout the house that we need to patch. They have arrived. I'm very excited. This is the front right here? Yeah. This is this side right there? Uh-huh. This is the back. Oh. On this side? so different. On this side, do you have a five inches? Like, so this is dipped really yeah, far. Five. Wow. Yeah. So they said this corner here on the side is the worst five inch dip. And they've got all these jacks put underneath. So they're jacking up the house to the right level and they're going to put piers, new piers. Okay, update you guys. Look at this. Look at this, just falling apart. Look at that. Can you believe that? I mean, I knew that the siding was bad. It's just like disintegrating. So this whole beam, that one is bad. This whole beam, well, not this whole beam, but it's compromised for sure, like on the corners. And look here. This is clearly termite to do it i don't want them to level bad beams and then us have problems and we're restoring this place we're, we're renovating so they are going to they went to the hardware store they're going to replace both of those beams and then level that so that that is perfect and then the foundation is like so sweet definitely making progress it's so nice to watch other people work mama king we got new beams yay yay <laughs> So it's gonna be so much better. They're already here doing it. Wow, update. It's now the end of the day. It's about five o'clock. They are completely finished. We got the new beam here the new beam here, and now we just have to address this kind of issue. But all of the new piers look so good. When, you, when you're in the house, it actually feels different. Crazy. It actually feels more substantial, straighter, more level, obviously, more even. When I thought it wasn't that bad and it wasn't a big deal, no, it totally was. Um, it better be for worth all the money. The guys were so nice. He doesn't understand why it wasn't on the work order and they don't have the material to add support for the kitchen, which is the whole reason why I called that company out. Always read the fine print. Always make sure that everything you talked about is clear. That's why I called him out. I wanted support in the kitchen and it didn't happen. Supposed to add support beams going across. They did add the right support on each side. So basically in this area, we wanna make sure that it's going to support the island. And then also along the back part, we wanna make sure that it supports the heavier appliances. So I called the company, left a not so nice voicemail for them to call me back <laughs> because either they needed to credit me because that wasn't done so I can get somebody else to do it or they need to send the guys back out to add the support. A process you guys good morning guys it's the next day and yes last night I called those people and I was like 
where's my support for my kitchen? They called me back right away and was like 100%. They'll be there first thing in the morning to install the beam to support the kitchen. They came, they did it. So now we have this big six inch beam that's running from this entryway to the kitchen all the way to the back wall. It's fully supported now. I feel so much better that it's gonna be able to support our countertops for the island, our countertops along the back part of the kitchen, the appliances, like the refrigerator and the stove and all of that stuff, all that stuff is so heavy. And when your house is on pure and beam and not concrete, it doesn't, it can't support that much weight unless it has the support that it needs. It also put, gave me four piers instead of just three. So that was, I was like, thank you. You love me, thank you for doing that. Just so it's extra supportive because he knew how worried I was about it. Watch me jump. Oh, oh what's up? That is not moving. And I could definitely feel that before. Like it just get it a little bit. I'm so excited. I have definitely learned through this process and re-reminded myself through this process that you have to make sure that you're getting what you're paying for. I was here monitoring that process of them leveling the house. I checked the level, make sure that what they were doing was good. Also the fact that this beam was not there and that was what I was paying for as well. Checking the work of people that come and help you, some contractors and stuff, um, just to make sure that you're getting what you're paying for. That's literally it. They were here the next day. It went smoothly, perfectly smooth-ish. So that was literally step two, really, in this whole process. First was demo everything off. We saved a ton of money. Second was level the house and add the support because you can't build anything. We couldn't frame anything else. We couldn't pour the addition. We couldn't do anything else to the main house until it was leveled. Yesterday, just watching them work, I felt this like overwhelming sense of joy that finally things were happening. Finally, things were moving forward. It hasn't rained. <sighs> I mean, even though it's like 40% chance of rain today, but still, but it's just, it got me through. I'm gonna wrap this video up today. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that we've been actually working on for a few weeks now to make this video happen. And I'm figuring out next video, I'm starting filming today for you guys for next week. We have so much to do now that that's done. We have so much to do in order to get ready for the framers to come in to make the structural framing changes to the house. So stay tuned next Sunday for another update in the renovation of renovating our 110 year old cottage. I feel like it's all gonna move really fast now. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, knock on wood. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye guys. What's up, guys?